So coming through today's uh, Michigan sentiment report, I found something that was really intriguing. And to me, it's a clear sign of the impact of higher gasoline prices. High school grads and dropouts saw uh, their inflation expectations went down to 2.9 percent. That's that's you know pretty good. Here's the thing. The prior month, it was 4.6 percent. I mean, that is absolutely remarkable. And it's all about gasoline, which is why this war on fossil fuels, it has to be called off. This winter, folks in Europe, they're going to be in a serious bind. I mean, when you see these images, keeping their homes warm and paying their electricity bills, I don't think they can do it without any fiscal government help. By the way, we're not too far behind, but the difference, of course, is we are blessed with an abundance of natural gas and coal and crude oil, making this an even tougher pill to swallow, by the way, as today's so-called inflation uh, slash uh, climate bill act. They're going to give billions of dollars to rich people in this country to buy electric vehicles. Those same college grads, by the way, they saw inflation at 2.9 percent uh, next year, uh, uh, last month, rather. They weren't bracing for it, like almost 5 percent. So this week, as the media has taken to calling all these economic developments victories for President Biden, remember, rents, they're soaring like never before. Food prices continue to climb every single month. I mean, it's tough out there, folks. But then again, I don't have to tell you that. I do hope you're in this market and offsetting that by some degree. And I do still hope that you have a fantastic week. And I appreciate you watching.